Lesson 1.5, Postulates and Theorems Relating Points, Lines, and Planes. So far we've assumed four postulates. Just assume that they're true. See if you can remember them. Pause the tape. And I'll write them in. And if you want to look at it this way, ruler said that we can put points on a line, and segment addition says we can add and subtract those points so that we bring all the properties of algebra into play. Same thing for the protractor, except instead of talking about segments, we're talking about angles. Now, there's actually not too many notes for the rest of this video lesson because we just go through the postulates that you could put together. Uh, postulate 5. A line contains at least two points, and a plane contains at least three points, not all in one line. Space contains at least four points, not all in one plane. If you think about that, it makes sense. A line has to have at least two points, three points not lined up, make a plane, then three points, four points, not all in the same plane, one here, one here, two up there, make space. And these get tricky, so you just have to keep them handy, hence the reason they're typed up for you. If there are any two points, there is exactly one line. If there are any three points, there is at least one plane. If there are any three non-collinear points, you got to watch out for the definitions. They'll throw you off. There's exactly one plane. Two points are in a plane, the line that contains the points in the plane. That one's a duh, and I use this every now and then to describe some of these postulates, but it's important they're written down so we can build on them logically. If two planes intersect, they form a line, kind of like the ceiling to wall intersection. And now we get theorems. These are important statements, and they are proven. Sometimes we'll prove them, but usually we'll prove them later. And then sometimes it just takes too long and they're just so obvious that we don't actually try and prove them. Euclid's proofs early on are a mess. Until you get to the point where you actually have several steps, a lot of it will just have to be taken on trust. So this looks a lot like a postulate, but you can actually prove this based on the other postulates. If two lines intersect, they intersect at exactly one point. You would say, well, duh, no kidding. But based on all the other postulates, he says, logically it follows that two lines intersecting in one point is a theorem. Don't ask me, I'm just here reporting the nonsense. Through a line and a point, not in the line, there's exactly one plane. And if two lines intersect, exactly one plane contains the lines. Exactly one and one and only one are the same thing. Be aware of that. So sometimes it helps to restate the postulate's theorem with the second phrase, and it makes them a little clearer. So if two lines intersect, then exactly one plane contains the lines. So you got two intersecting lines. Turns out that means there's only one plane form. You might want to say, if two lines intersect, then one and only one plane contains the lines. For some people, that makes it easier. That is it. Now you get to go play with it and have some fun. Good luck.